everybody. Hi, Web Witch. This is me again. And um, this video is in response to a question that Web Witch had asked regarding my how to make a protector video. She had asked, why would you avoid wearing the sweet grass during menstruation? And um, this can be a very long answer and I've made about four videos so far and they're all over 100 megabytes so I'm going to try to keep it to about six minutes or so and uh, I might just do a whole new video called Moon Time. Um, but anyway, during a woman's moon time or menstruation, it was believed that she was incredibly powerful. It was, her personal power was amplified. Um, she had dual energies that were going on inside of her body at the same time. They were death and life. She, the death aspect was like the shedding of the old, you know, uterus lining, the, the release of the unfertilized egg, that was like the death aspect. The, the life aspect that was going on at the same time was like the, the fresh lining, the new egg, that type of thing. So it was recognized many generations ago that this is what was going on inside of the woman's womb. That there's this two energies, dual, life and death, that were going on within her. And because of this, she was revered. Um, woman in general is the only, um, well, she can give birth. She can have another spirit inside of her body at the same time that doesn't necessarily belong to her. They believe that uh, the spirit of, like when she was pregnant and she had a baby, that, you know, she had her own spirit and then that of her child as well that was inside of her. Um, anyway, going back to the moon time issue in Sweetgrass, Sweetgrass was considered to be almost like a, a male entity, a male um, aspect of this plant or, or whatnot. It was considered to be like a male plant. Anyway, it was noted and noticed that should a woman who's on her moon time utilize Sweetgrass, it didn't seem to work as effectively as say if she used sage. She can use sage and it didn't seem to affect it at all. Um, certain other plants she might have used, they tend their properties tended to be amplified. So it was just noted that certain plants, their energies would be affected either negatively or positively um, during a woman's moon time. Um, her own personal power is greatly amplified. The menstrual blood itself was considered to be extremely powerful and was used and still is used for a variety of um, protective measures. Um, they still use it in all forms of, um, well, in different forms of uh, protection rituals, protective. Um, ceremonies and that type of thing. It's also used in other ceremonies as well. So that is a brief little glimpse into why sage or I mean sweetgrass wasn't used by a woman who was on her moon time. It had nothing to do with um, putting the woman down or oppressing the woman or thinking of her as being dirty or um, or anything like that. The, the moon time was a, a time of great honor for the woman she was greatly revered, um, as I mentioned, like with the lodges. Uh, those were specifically for menstruating women, and teachings were handed down during that time. She didn't have to do chores, she didn't have to cook, she didn't have to do anything other than rest, nurture herself, and learn the teachings that were being handed down to her. So, and that was one of the teachings was, you know, sweet grass doesn't work for us very well when we're menstruating. Um, sage works better um, so that's pretty much what that's all about if you got any more questions feel free to ask feel free to comment um, I think I will do a video on moon time maybe and uh, we'll see how that goes there's a lot of taboos around the world regarding women and their moon time uh, some people view it as a curse some think it's just a general pain in the ass uh, it's a lot of people don't view it in a positive manner whereas we do so 
yeah, that's my, my little spiel. I'm hoping I'm under the 100 megabytes. That just pisses me off. Oh, I made like about four videos <laughs> rambling away because I am rather long-winded and tend to, you know, repeat myself sometimes. But I go and check and it was like 102 megabytes. It was like, what's up with that? That just totally sucked. But anyway, um, I'm keeping time. I'm thinking this is about four minutes or so. So I should be under the 100 megabytes. Yay. And um, once I get the whole hang of the YouTubing thing and, you know, the editing and all that stuff, and someday I'll learn how to compress everything and it should be all good. So anyway, I hope I answered your question. If you have any more questions, if anybody does, feel free to ask. Feel free to post comments. I'm more than willing to answer any questions. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.